So we are moving to the next presentation. They are, sorry, Andre, Sommer, and Felix, yeah, from JobPrat. Uh, this company is the first company in Germany that bought, brought uh, bike leasing for companies and professionals. And they are talking today about this, of course, and uh, also about a really interesting initiative called ProLastenRot. Yeah. So just a uh, big applause for them. Uh, thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. So good. Okay. Thank you for in forward. So, okay, black screen. I have to check the technique. So very welcome from our side, from Shoprad Germany. Um, we are uh, a company based in Freiburg, South in Germany, and making uh, a lease leasing cycle scheme for employers offering bicycles to their employees. And I think we have to talk about a really successful um, history, but also about cargo bikes and what the impact is we can make. Uh, we call it company bicycle leasing in English. So in, in German would be uh, Dienstrad leasing or Jobrad, which is like uh, also a, a common uh, word for it in Germany. So maybe one, one topic uh, to talk about for entry, very interesting. We now are the winner of the 16th uh, German Sustainability Award 2024. So it was just uh, two days ago. They, they went to Düsseldorf and got the prize. And you see here now the founders on the right side. It's Ulrich Prediger and Holger Thumat on the left. In the middle, our CEO, Andrea, and uh, also the women of uh, Uli uh, as an owner in. So this is a family-owned business, and this is uh, what's it all, all about. The category we won, it was uh, on bicycles. And yeah, Jobrad, what's it all about? We are market leader and founder of the corporate bike leasing scheme in Germany. So we have over 1 million persons on, brought on, on the bicycle already in the scheme and have more than 60,000 employers uh, at the moment. And yes, we are the largest bicycle buyer in the German market. And that's uh, also yeah, our, our impact at the moment. So this maybe also explains why we won this award. And yes. And yeah, bringing cycling and cargo bikes into society on a large scale. This is uh, what the talk is about. Um, yeah, cargo bike, quite a niche product. Uh, that's the truth. Also on company bike leasing. So, and we are asking ourselves uh, what are the impacts we can make to the market. And also we have a special scheme with retailers also having a marching, buying the bikes from the retailers. So, um, we had to talk with retailers, uh, making a new buying scheme this year and find a, a, a solution and on, on that. And that's what we are talking about next. So we started an initiative, uh, Pro Lastenrad. And so we provided all partners selling cargo bikes and an extra uh, amount of 230 euros net and build on each cargo bike we buy. And this is, uh, I think, um, what is also very successful at the moment. Um, we have really good feedback from our retailers and it is only one initiative in, in the moment. We also have another one, Service Pro, uh, focusing on uh, after sales. So this really would be interesting for retailers, maybe uh, for other markets, what we are doing here. So really uh, look on the customer journey over three years of leasing, what is his demands and this is what is count on. Um, yeah, our aim promoting cargo bikes for sustainable mobility transition. And yeah, that's what's it all about. Yeah, and now we have some uh, already some uh, results from that. So we have uh, a growth of 31% uh, this year on, on the uh, sector cargo bikes with our scheme. So really successful to that for the moment. So the scheme is running now nearly a half year. So good growth in a different or difficult market uh, environment. 
And yes, uh, already over 700 retailers profited from that. If you see the German bicycle market with about 6,500 retailers, this is not uh, the full scale, but I think not every bicycle retailer uh, has cargo bikes uh, on in the in the store. So at this point, really interesting to us uh, to have uh, some reach with the campaign. Yes, and retailers never have built more Chopra cargo bikes per month uh, since the campaign. As we are growing in general, this is not big surprise but we are very happy with the with the um, with the numbers right now so it's uh, over market overall and so it's really a big an impact on cargo bikes what we are producing with the campaign yeah also more numbers here so we see high potential in sales channel uh, cargo bike leasing uh, in combination with uh, with Jobrad. We have a big average price, uh, year-to-date 5,700 euros. So our average overall price of Jobrad is in the moment is 3,700 euros. If you compare that, it's clear cargo bikes is more expensive. But I think uh, what we can say is that the um, leasing customer is not that price sensitive at all. And we have this extra point with service budgets on retailers on top, which uh, is really interesting to retailers um, with our campaign Service Pro. If you have a question to that, uh, we will stay there for later. We can also explain that. Yeah, and um, yeah, 94% of our cargo bikes in the leasing scheme are e-bikes against to the market 78%. So we are there over the market with e-bike segment and leasing especially. So overall, we have uh, with uh, um, pedal legs uh, 80% and then cargo bike 94%. So cargo bike is more electrified with uh, leasing. That's also maybe an interesting number. Um, yeah, cargo bike, who are this? So this may, may is a story to you uh, for q and A. I We don't have that much time. Um, our vision is that we want to change uh, the mobility uh, and make a transition in the German market. This is really important to us. Um, what we came here for is also to talk to retailers, to manufacturers and uh, to, to this whole grassroots cargo bike uh, um, family, I would say. Yeah, and cargo bike leasing, um, we have a relatively low share of cargo bike in the whole uh, bicycle leasing scheme. So we we have now uh, over 300,000 uh, bikes this year and maybe about uh, 6,000 bikes uh, from that uh, are cargo bikes. Um, so the share is, uh, I would say, it's not enough to make a big transition, but our aim is uh, to, to stay in touch with the community, with the cargo bike family and to ask us the question, yeah, where should it go and uh, how we can scale up cargo bike more and more. Yeah, so we have on the one side uh, some problems in the market right now, overstocks and cash flow issues with manufacturers, also retailers. We have structural challenges and we have this low share. So our impact would be to, to uh, increase the share in cargo bike leasing with um, uh, yes, and our next question will be, our initiative Pro Lastenrad uh, will end in 24. Therefore, we have to talk to the, the industry, to retailers again. What will be the solution for the future? Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's that's where we came here for. So, I am was really uh, fast, I would say, uh, because uh, I was said it's not 20 minutes, it's 15 minutes, but uh, I hope Maybe there are some questions we talk further. I press sure. Thank you. Eh? So, yeah. Thank you so much. So, is there is there any chance you can help uh, the dealers who are who really stuck at the moment and need to get rid of their bikes? So, what what can you do, or what what what's the potential of a cooperation with Jobrad mm. to sell maybe? More, more bikes and, uh, and see that you get back the cash flow you really need. All the dealers mm. have too many bikes, prices are going down. So what issues are there? What, what's the solution you can offer? What is the, the ideas you can, you can give on top on yeah. what the dealers are doing anyway? Yeah. So 
I think the big leverage Jobrad has to make uh, the bicycle uh, bigger in the society. Therefore, we started uh, the biggest bicycle marketing campaign ever in Europe uh, this year. Um, and we also invest a lot of general marketing to reach new groups, uh, which not uh, rare, especially focused on, on bicycles for mobility. So many people from the bicycle industry asked us, why do you sponsor a, a Premier League football club? And the answer is, uh, our impact is uh, to, to go uh, with our idea of mobility to the general uh, whole society. So this is what we are actually doing in short term. Um, we can fix the bicycle market. This is also an answer. We have now this uh, short time solution for cargo bikes, which is a fit good feedback from our retailers, which uh, they say, which is uh, good on the pain for the moment. Um, next thing is our Service Pro initiative, where we say, uh, really, if you build up service and make service, we regain that with, with our uh, subsidies. Um, these are, are the topics for the moment. But um, yeah, when it comes to cash flow, uh, we will see then in the next years, I think, lots of consolidation in this market. And uh, the market is too big that Jobrad can fix all the problems at the moment, I think. So we are do quite doing some things, but I don't think we can uh, help, uh, especially business partners when they have big cash flow problems, then they had also failures in their management in the past. This also is what the market is right now. Uh, not easy. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. Hi. Uh, there's any intention for you and to expand also to other European countries rather than just Germany? Yes. Uh, very good question. So it, our scheme is dependent on uh, the government's uh, making subsidies uh, and on, on taxes. Um, so it's tax-based scheme. And so not, our, not every European government already has such a scheme. So also France is building on other schemes right now, as you maybe heard from, from uh, uh, newspapers. Actually, they are spending when you're commuting and so on. So we are for the moment in Germany and Austria. And uh, we know some other governments also making something for bicycle. But these are the two main markets we are for the moment. Uh, the other topics, I would say, uh, we are big holding now. Um, I can't answer exactly which will be the next market, but we are really curious and really looking every market at. Uh, France is, a, is an eye-opener for me because they're offering 4,000 euros for low-income people who have a fossil-fueled vehicle if they exchange it for a cargo bike, an electric cargo bike. Uh, do you see that passing in Germany? Because that would be a net positive for, yeah. for everyone. As we are a company um, working a lot also with lobbyists and making lobbying for, for bicycles, we try to, to reach out for, for good solutions, but always also uh, with, with focus on our business model. So we really try to make the uh, cycle scheme um, as a general law so that it is not dependent on the scheme based on uh, car subsidies. Yeah? So we want to make it by law for bicycles on the leasing scheme. This is what uh, our aims right now um, and what is our focus for the moment. But uh, I think we have the Zukunft Fahrrad uh, where we are also a member of the board and where also the Zukunft Fahrrad uh, looks in every direction and not only in the business model's per perspective of leasing. So let me rephrase my question. If, if there was a uh, subsidized leasing model for your customers yeah. where they would get money back in exchange for yeah. Yeah. returning, uh, retiring a, an old fossil fuel car, 
Do you think that th would that be of interest to you? Yes. And I think we are really uh, near to a solution at that point for uh, self-employed people. There will be a possible new subsidy uh, for next year. We don't have uh, the, the solution for right now. So we are waiting for that. And uh, there are then it will be uh, combinable with leasing. For the self-employed leasing, we have two products. One is from, for employees and one is for self-employed people. And in this sector, uh, we, we think there will be a lot of growth in the future. Also, when the subsidies for that from the government will, will uh, appear. Thank you for the question. Next I'm, question. Um, I was curious, uh, since you have such a large customer base and some history in the business leasing bikes, have you noticed a trend where... Uh, an existing customer who has had a leasing bike for three years and now is getting another one would then turn the cargo bike because mm -hmm. they've been accustomed to e-bikes yep. and then would spread into a new specific category like cargo bike. Yes, we, we did some marketing uh, uh, market research and what we are seeing is that uh, people making uh, leasing really... in evolved their uh, thinking about uh, mobility and really changed the next bike they want. So if they have a leasing bike in the category one today, maybe a city uh, lifestyle bicycle, they chose uh, at the next bicycle a completely different um, bicycle type. And there's uh, lots of transferring uh, in, in this uh, second leasing uh, customer life cycle yeah this is happening and hopefully a lot of people going for cargo bikes yeah but the shares i don't have in mind exactly how much uh, come from which sector to to the other one we have market research on that but there's uh, lots of traffic on that yeah okay thank you i don't know anna if we have I Oh. Further questions or more time? I don't think so. No, this is actually my case. I have a lease cargo bike, and now I'm thinking about having a lease bike, a regular bike, but uh, by leasing because I think that is quite um, useful and convenient, and I don't have to think about robbery or whatever. So I love your initiative, but I think that is that makes cargo bikes more accessible for most people. So good luck with your with your initiative. So. Yeah, big applause for them. Thank you very much. Thank you.